that's faith right there because I couldn't see my healing but I knew that I was healed. I didn't see it physically, but it's like I knew for a fact I'm gonna come up out of this thing right here. And I told God when I do come out, I'm gonna praise you like never, ever <laughs> before. Hey guys, it's Jamila here. Welcome back to God Creates Her. Um, based off of my Guillain-Barre syndrome videos, I have had quite a few questions about my faith. And it's interesting because I think this is one of the things that people struggle with the most. I don't care if it's male or female, young, old, like sick, not sick. Like you, people seem to struggle with faith the most. So. That's, first of all, let's just go through a few scriptures as to what the Bible says that faith is. One, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Two, faith without deeds is dead. Three, the trying of your faith worketh patience. Now, the reason that I wanted to give those scriptures first is because whenever I talk to anyone, I like to have personal experience along with scripture so that way they can go hand in hand. It's mostly going to come from my experience, the word itself, and what it did for me. So that way I can relate to you and you can feel as though you can relate to me. So I did experience Guillain-Barre syndrome and based on that video, my faith honestly is what got me through that because even the Lord said it himself my faith even okay I just got excited but if you look at the woman with the issue of blood her faith made her whole she was so desperate for God that all she wanted to do was touch the hem of his garment and I'll put the story so that way you guys can um, go and read it but all she wanted was to touch the hem of his garment and she knew that once she got to Jesus that was her faith working for her once she got to him she knew that she would be made whole so he turned and he's like I felt it someone touched me and they're like well no there's people all around you touching he's like uh-uh this is a different type of touch he felt that virtue leave from him Woo, that is good to me because she was desperate for him but she her faith is what made her whole so she went after God and it's interesting because with my situation, my aunt, the onset of GBS was very quick, very, very quick process. So it didn't take long for me to lose my ability to walk. It didn't take long for me to lose my ability to see straight. It didn't take long for my breathing to be affected. It did not take long for me to lose weight, for my heart rate to go, well, my blood pressure to be high constantly every single day. That stuff hit me instantly. I couldn't dress myself in the second day of the onset of it my cousin had to get me dressed and the aching started immediately and i'm gonna tell you something my body was killing itself and killing itself quickly okay sorry to keep snapping but i guess it's the emphasis behind quick <laughs> i don't know but um it was very very quick process the onset was very quick but see where i was in god at that time was listen i know you to be exactly who you say that you are so my faith was able to work for me because i knew god to be exactly who he said he was i had worked on my relationship with him i had been praying to god my entire 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 life I've always loved God I've always had a relationship with God when I felt like I had no one I had God when I felt alone I had God when I would go through anything I went through it with God so for me it was like now Jamila is the time for you to show and prove yourself and Peter is oh my god the book of Peter is awesome that's what really got me through a lot of my mess and then Job as well because I knew something was going to happen to me before it happened months prior it was like the Lord was preparing me but the thing is I didn't tell anyone I just felt like okay Jamila prepare yourself prepare yourself so I started reading the book of Job for some reason I don't know I guess the Lord led me to read the book of Job and I was like, God, whatever happens to me, I'm going to trust you when it does happen. And so, you know, months went by. Then February came, GBS was right there. And I started preparing myself in like September, I want to say September time. But it was like 
that was my opportunity to show God, listen, I trust you this much that when I do go through this particular thing, I know you'll bring me through it. So I'm going to trust you in spite of, God, I want to be like Job. I want to be your good and faithful servant. You don't have to prove yourself to me. I have to prove myself to you. I have to prove to you that I can be your good and faithful servant. I can trust you. I can depend on you. I can love you through this thing because I realize that whether I live or whether I die, I am yours. Whether I live or whether I die, I belong to you and you know what's best for me. So if that's the will that you have for me, then that's the will that I'm going to be okay with. These were my exact words to God before and during the onset of it. I kid you not, you can ask my mama, you can ask my grandma, you can ask anybody. They will tell you. That's where my faith was in God. And that came from relationship. It didn't come from religious rituals or religion or, you know, being in the onset of like, okay, go to church every Sunday, Bible said it didn't come from that. It came from my relationship that I was building with God because when I had my onset of GBS, I was in school. I was not in church every day. I was not able to make it to church every single Sunday, but every day of my life, I was spending time with God. Every day I was meditating and praying and, and getting to know him and spending time with him and feeling his presence. As far as the faith, I feel like I'm rambling, but okay, let's stop rambling. As far as my faith in God, that increased because of relationship. And what people feel about is your faith is what gets you through a lot. Your faith is what elevates you because when you do go through hard times, when you, it's like the trying of your faith produces patience, produces perseverance. Do not find it strange when you go through the fiery trials. And it's like, Okay, I realize, okay, God, I'm going to go through things. This is one of those things that I'm going to go through. But when I do go through it, I'm going to have you with me. So I'm acknowledging you. I'm aware of you. My faith in you says I know that I know who you are. So I'm going to put all of this control into your hands. That's faith right there because I couldn't see my healing, but I knew that I was healed. I didn't see it physically, but it's like, I knew for a fact, I'm gonna come up out of this thing right here. And I told God, when I do come out, I'm gonna praise you like never, ever <laughs> before. But it requires you to put complete trust in him, in him, even though you do not see the end result of what you want to see. You have to believe on that end result so much to the point where it's like, I already know it has happened. I'm just waiting to see it. <laughs> That's basically how it works. You have so much peace and so much joy to know, listen, I'm going to be all right. This is going to be all right. Now, it's getting pretty long, so I'm going to cut it off here. If you guys want more, just ask me questions or let me know, and I'll add more. But I have to end it here because the video is getting too long. So, um, And I don't ever want to do it too long because I can talk all day long. So, yeah, um, my name is Jamila. And I'll say to you what I always say to you, what I will say to you at the end of every video. Please remember, you're beautiful in everything that you do. And God is constantly creating you to be that beautiful person. So walk in that beauty. My name is Jamila. This is God Cre My name is Jamila. This is God Creates Her. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> Let me turn my light off. Bye.